welcome back if you already know it's your girl when they so thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for clicking on this video i really do appreciate the love that you've shown me on my previous post thank you so much for following me on my ig thank you so much for dropping comments because i see your comments and i like I smile so hard Thank you so much for all the love. Thank you so much for all the support so far, for following me, for subscribing to me, for liking my videos, for commenting, for sharing on your pages. I am really, 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 really grateful. Thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate all the love so far. Please keep liking, please keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep commenting, keep showing me love, keep sharing my videos, keep supporting me. It's it's going a long way it's pushing me and i love it thank you so much for the love in this video we're going to be talking about four smart money moves you should be making in your 20s now in my previous video my previous video was what you should be doing in your 20s things you should be doing in your 20s to help you know live better and you know be in your 20s basically today we're going to be talking about four smart money moves you should be making in your 20s in terms of energy this in your 20s is the age where you have so much energy you can try out so many new things you have nothing to lose because this is your experimental stage whether you like it or not you're going to do something and whether you like it or not whatever you do is going to have a good or a bad effect at this age things that you do has either a small or a very big ripple effect on your future and things that you're going to have to deal with in the future when you cultivate good habits now at this stage when you cultivate habits and grow these habits you can never have a negative future it's not going to happen one learn how to save i'm aware that for you to actually save money you need to actually earn money or at least earn enough to be able to put some aside i'm aware that saving is actually a luxury in times like this to everybody, I mean, if I'm earning 50,000 Naira in a month and I have to think about transport, I have to think about what I'm going to wear, I have to think about this hair I'm going to make this month, have plans in place, and these plans require money. Now, I'm aware of how much of a luxury saving can be, especially in a country like Nigeria where I live, where people, a lot of people live from hand to mouth. The economy is terrible and people are struggling. Even the people that are making money, do, they can't even see the value of their money to get. Everybody's struggling, basically. So talk more of somebody that's just earning how much in a month and you're telling me to save. How am I going to save? Guess what? Nobody cares. You're still going to have to learn how to save start little that's the trick start little if for now what you can start saving is 200 naira or 100 naira i'm nigerian so if what you can save is in dollars or in euro or in pounds or in sefa be my guest but i'm talking about naira like that's what i understand that's currency i understand so you just apply this wherever in the world you might be so you can start with 100 naira 200 naira 500 naira you can start with no matter how no matter how much the amount that you think is most comfortable for you okay oh i think i'm sweating sorry if i see anything in any form of sweat the fan is disturbing my hair and i can't turn on the ac with the gel so please pardon me yes so what we're, no matter how much you can save start saving now it's a small space where you can just put train 15 naira 100 naira 200 naira every day the more you can the more you should okay now for those of you that earn higher or have a higher paying job there's so many ways you can save money there are so many apps right now currently in nigeria globally even that can that enable you to connect the app to your bank now every month you can just connect the you can just like you just set a time like a date and time for your money to be withdrawn from your account so if it's ten thousand now you want to save in a month you can say for the 28th of every month ten thousand dollars will be deducted and put into your safe i have so many apps i use one i use one but i know so many apps i've tried so many apps until i finally set with one and that app is AOO. i'm not sure if i should be giving anybody free publicity but i really do like this app i've i had a bit of a glitch with it like some time ago but it's nothing about losing my money or my money being in danger my money was intact and i could withdraw my money when i was in other words guys you have no absolutely no excuse not to save save no matter what you're earning no matter what anything just save 
have that target that to every day you're dropping 200 naira no matter where you're going to get that 200 naira from it's going to enter your colo no matter where that 10,000 naira is going to come from every month it has to enter your safe lock okay so you should save learn how to save there's no excuse you should save it's a smart money move and it's going to help you you're going to develop that habit and it's going to help you in the long run also you're going to have money to fall back on in case of emergencies in case of anything so please save. my second point for today is to learn a skill now as i mentioned in my previous video i one of the things i mentioned i should be doing in your 20s is invest in yourself equip yourself you know make yourself valuable to yourself to the community to your employer to your future employer to you know people watching you to people that look up to you make yourself valuable equip yourself you can do so many things you can learn to be a photographer you can learn to be a model you can learn to you can learn to do there's so many things available you can learn to bake cakes there's so many mothers chefs so many mothers bakers like so many people that are doing so many things like, i see people on the internet i see people around me my friends and everything i'm just like there's so many things that you can do in your life do not just sit idle, learn a skill, equip yourself, make yourself powerful. Now, aside learning a completely different thing from what you currently do, that's a completely different skill, you can also build yourself, like build more on that skill. For instance, if you're a computer scientist, you can learn to be a graphic designer on the side. If you're a content creator, you can learn to be a graphic designer on the side. You're making your own um, graphics, you're making your own um, posters, you're making your own videos instead of giving to another person. Aside making the work easier for yourself you're also making yourself more valuable to different people in the future you might need to get a job urgently you can add that you're a graphic designer it's adding a lot to you so you can be a makeup artist and learn to be a photographer you're taking your own damn pictures and you're killing it it's adding a lot to you to this community you are saving money you're saving stress you're saving time your skill gives you an edge over thousands of over applicants i mean why should i employ you when there's another person that is telling me that he has he's a graphic designer he's a photographer he's a model he's a youtuber he's a this is a that and he's just 22 and you're 26 and you're telling me the only thing you can do is makeup or the only thing you can do is you have a degree in you have a degree in i don't know mass communication medicine nursing you have a degree in whatever that's all I would pick someone that has that, that has diversity, that has knowledge in literally all other things. I'll pick him because obviously he's he's more exposed, he reads, he knows about different things and he can get he can do a lot of things, he can multitask, he's do you get just bottom line guys, learn a skill, improve yourself, equip yourself, more knowledge, more okay. That's not gonna work. I don't have anything that rhymes in knowledge next point i can already sense that this is not going to be a long video because it's currently past seven and i'm tired i've been doing my makeup all day i'm watching a movie you guys i'm currently watching orange is the new black and i'm feeling i'm currently at season five where we say that and the riots is happening if you watch orange is the new black holla at me in the comment section let's talk about it please dm me my ideas is our work let's talk about this i need someone to banter about this thing which i've been watching it alone for a long time yeah so back to the video the third smart money move i think you should be making in your 20s is have multiple sources of income i would advise for this that you'd find a balance first please if you're a makeup artist and you're just starting up, find a balance first. Get about six months of stability before you think about branching into photography or before you think about branching into selling stuff by the side. Trust me, doing a lot of things at the same time and you're new to everything is going to throw you completely off balance. Whether you know it or not, as time goes on, you're going to be thrown off balance, you're going to be shaky, you're going to be mixed in so many things that at once and you're going to break okay so take it one step at a time but at the same time you should have multiple sources of income i was watching Kamsi's vlog i'm sorry Cam, one of Kamsi's sit down video and she was talking about how to have multiple streams of income i for one i'm a currently i'm a makeup artist and a youtuber i'm currently serving so that's all i do for now basically so i'm just trying to build myself and get better with my youtube and get better with doing makeup 
that's what I want to focus on for now. I'll size my job as a copper, you get. So that's what I want to focus on for now. That's those are the two things that I'm picking to focus on right now. I want to get better at those things. I'll def I, I have passion for so many other things, but I want to get better at these things before I start to try my hands out on different other so i was talking i was watching Kamsi's video and she was talking about how she's a youtuber she teaches um, an editing class for youtube and instagram she has Kamsi's corner that's her business she sells home decor really nice home decor and i don't remember but she had like four things going on for her and she's killing it if this is your thing by all means kill it but i'm just telling you you need to take you need to relax if you know that you can't do so many things at once my dear as you grow, as you develop yourself, as you're trying to understand yourself, as you develop, open multiple sources of income from yourself. It doesn't have to be you open bag store, you open makeup store, you open paint store, you open clothes store. No. You're a makeup artist, you're a YouTuber, you're a content creator. Things that correlate, things that come together to work in your favor, not just different things that you're just going to be confused and you're not even going to be able to manage. Okay, so please have multiple sources of income and also try to have control over your life don't be lost in your multiple sources of income my final point for today is to put some money back into your craft now for instance you're a graphic designer you save you earn you start earning you know you're getting better at your work you need to put some money back into your work you might learn something that's going to help you even better with your editing or with your creating your designs if you're a photographer you can learn more things about picturing and editing you can invest in new lenses new it's fucking up i'm so sorry you can invest in new lenses new tripods new lights all of that all of that all of that you get just put some money back into your business try to have fun and stay focused put some money back into your business get nice things for yourself Make yourself happy because that's part of investing back into your business. If you're not happy, your work is not going to be happy. Relax. Get something nice for yourself. Buy equipment. Buy more equipment. H have classes. Investing your back into your craft is not just about buying equipment. You need to grow your, your knowledge in your craft. So when you go out, you're looking confident. You know what you're talking about. You know what you're going to do. And you deliver a good job. That is what is most important. There are so many other things I would like to tell you about smart money moves you should be making in your 20s. I'm afraid tonight we've come to the end of this video. Sorry. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of this video. You guys don't know what time it is. I'm afraid we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please feel free to hit my DMs. I'm at Wild Walk. I think it's up on the screen somewhere. Please feel free to hit my DMs and talk to me about anything. I'm free. Talk to me in the comments. Talk to me in my DM. Talk to me anywhere. I'm all here for you okay thank you so much youtube family please keep subscribing liking sharing and commenting on my videos show me more love tell me about how they went in the comments tell me your name let me get to know you guys in the comments if you're my gang please let me get to know you in the comments we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day or night